Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is finalizing our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 version 22H2 in both the beta and the release preview channels. And our next optional update that will be rolling out over the next couple of days is KB5045594. So if we just head to the calendar, it rolled out late yesterday in my region. So I would suggest that for both Windows 10 and Windows 11, our next optional updates will start rolling out starting the 22nd of this month, October 2024. And if we don't see it on the 22nd, then the update, I think, will, will uh, roll out throughout the course of the rest of this month. Now, for Windows Insiders in the beta channel, Microsoft is beginning to roll out the following improvements. And I'm just going to read this exactly how it is from the release notes, where if you head to your settings, system page, and about Windows, Microsoft says you will now find a refreshed experience with top cards that highlight key hardware specifications of your device. So this is basically a new feature they are trying and testing out in the beta channel. These cards, Microsoft says, are designed to keep you informed about the most important details of your device's hardware that matter to you. They mention they've also added frequently asked questions directly within the settings page to help you better understand your device. And these FAQs will explain your current hardware specifications and how they impact the performance of your device, making it easier to get the most out of your system. And it's a bit weird that Microsoft is, and strange that Microsoft is bringing that into Windows 10, where it's only got one year left of official support. But nonetheless, that may be handy, just to find out a little bit more info regarding your hardware. And that hasn't rolled out to stable yet, um, obviously. Um, this is still in preview, but it will appear on this page those uh, different um, cards and FAQs. Now that's just for the beta channel. Now for the release preview channel, and this will be our next optional update by the way rolling out, there is a new feature and it's, it's going to be exactly what we get over on Windows 10 and it's regarding the account manager for the start menu that's going to appear for the start menu and I'm just going to use a screenshot taken from my Windows 11 device and the update now starts the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu and it's going to look very similar to this from your profile just obviously in the and on the Windows 10 start menu. The new design makes it easier Microsoft says to view your account and access account settings as we can see and to change to a different user select the three-dotted menu, also known as the ellipsis menu. Now, I don't have that because I don't have other users, but you will see next to sign out there, if you have other users, there will be a three-dotted menu there. And the lock command, they say, is now on the power menu. And just note, this account manager is gradually rolling out and will gradually roll out. So if you do decide to install the optional update um, in a couple of days, you may or may not see this feature. So just take note of that. So they say the lock command is now on the power menu. So Currently in the stable, if we head to our start menu and we head up to our profile, lock is on the profile. That's moving to the power menu, obviously, to just fit that in because the account manager is going to be getting rid of those profile um, little settings that are available here. In the settings, you'll get your sign out on that account manager. So that's the new feature that's rolling out, very similar to what we're getting over on Windows 11. So that's just another Windows 11 feature that Microsoft is making available for Windows 10 once again. Now that's the new feature, and if you are interested, we get seven bug fixes that have been made available because this is a bug fix update. And I've just taken a couple that I thought you may be interested in. Um, VM switch has a fix where apparently a VM switch was triggering a stop error. And this apparently was occurring when you use load balancing and fail over teaming with two virtual switches on a VM, a virtual machine. So a stop error is a blue screen of death. And I always say any blue screen of death that's addressed is an important fix. And there's another stop error for upgrading to Windows 11 where they fixed a race condition causing a, another blue screen of death with error 0x3b. So that's three blue screens that this update will address. 
Um, that's two blue screens that this update will address. And this might occur when you upgrade from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So that's a blue screen trying to upgrade from 10 to 11. And then there are two fixes for multifunction printer. Where the first is when you use a USB cable to connect to it, it prints specific network command text when you don't want it to. And the second is they fixed a scanner driver that was failing to install when you use a USB cable to connect to a multifunction printer. So two little printer fixes rolling out there. And the last one, there's a WebView 2 apps fix where apparently WebView 2 apps, they did not detect input from Xbox 360 and Bluetooth controllers. That's also um, going to be rolling out as a fix. So a couple of under the hood treatments there. And one new feature that we could be getting with our next optional bug fix series up, C release update. And then we get that new feature on the settings system about page that's currently been tested in beta. And while we are on this page, when the update does roll out, and if you do decide to install it, the build will be bumped up to 19045.5070, where currently it's on 5011. So at 5070, it'll be somewhere in that point release vicinity. So that's it, guys. That's more or less what we're going to be getting in our next optional bug fix C release update for Windows 10 rolling out over the next couple of days. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.